Okay, this one is from Shovel Tooth. And that is very cool. This one's from Fight Club 420. Also very cool. I still never found that. I don't know why this reminded me, but I never found that piece of foam for the inside of my headphones. So I just have to like deal with it now. We must deal with it. But yeah, that's that's really good. That's really good art. This one's from Tomo Rain. And there's a little vine shroom fella. With a clown. <laughs> clown. I, my voice is not working today. I think maybe I did too much Shockmaster or I'm too tired, but my voice is just not happening. From Berserker Fox. Pepperoni Secret. I like that face. It's a good face. Luigi's true face. With a very thin mustache. Um, wow, this is really good. From Mono Jojo. That's, uh, me in my fucking clown outfit. <laughs> Vomiting rainbows after taking a bite of a blood bagel. It's, it's vomit in the ball pit. It's amazing. I mean, it's got a theme. It's colorful. It's 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 fantastic. I love it. Thank you, Mono Jojo, whoever you are. <laughs> um, this one's from Tamiro Toro, and that's another of me. That's cool. This one's from Mick Spooks. It's a little vine shroom. This one's from X-Law, and uh, that, that's kind of cool, too. I like the way the lighting kind of worked out on that. looks kind of creepy. Uh, this one's from Zandre, and some of the fucking weird shit that I started the stream with. This one's from Plasma Giant, F, to fuck. From Dr. Killer, here's me. Okay. This one's from Ink, though, and it is a pepperoni secret. I'm the number three most popular Vinny. It's true. Apparently. From Knox Robbins. This is art for Monsters, Inc. Apparently. And yeah, it's a bee fella. There's the yawn like clockwork from Pecha Panda. I still haven't figured out what's going on there from Pecha Panda. Here's, um, yeah. I don't think I need to talk too much about what's going on in this. You can see it. It's all in the eye. That eye has seen some shit. From Didgery Dude. Here's some vine sauce. Vincenzo's pasta sauce. <laughs> I really should. I got to look into that. I got to start selling my own sauce, man. It's a business move. Business move. From, and that's cool, 3D art. From Mick Cack. It's, <laughs> it's, I guess it's a pepperoni secret. Um, it's also a good desktop background if anyone needs one. And in BRB form. From Maple Java, the angry video, video game sauce. Data Dick Sign Interactive. From Omandaz. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. This is from uh, my voice. Please, voice. It's a good thing I have no sense of embarrassment or shame. From Sofino X. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Beta comes out next month. Mr. Pizza Pasta, I think you know what we want. No. He escaped the spider room. I don't know where he is. Sorry. V dub will not be. Maybe. Will not be. Maybe will not be. 
That's all I can say about that. Maybe. From Robot Fanaticism. Yep. It's Clown from Death Road, which I played last night. <laughs> from Lizororo. <laughs> Just that fucking Cold Stone person. Oh my god. From Tremendous by Design. I only desire the sweet release of death. So I imagine every Cold Stone employee feels... From Game Boo Horror, here's the headstone of Zapper, the almost Frogger mascot. Uh, from Tix Erp, here's another. <laughs> oh my god. From the Mighty Mighty Sniff, a disturbed emu. Did you ever just like out of nowhere get like a fucking insane flash of mortality of your own mortality has that ever happened to anyone just randomly because I just got an intense one for of all things that previous piece of art it's fucking weird uh, I'm not kidding either it was like severe and it kind of made me appreciate what I do here like a little bit more actually but that's, that was all in like a, a five second span. Crazy. Crazy. And I didn't even do any drugs. From Nevu Jokheim. Knuckles. I like how you spelled that. That's a good way to spell that. And Toils. That's good. This is them 50 years later. I want to see the sequels. I want to see the Knuckles game. Uh, oh my god. From Moogie. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this. I really, really, really don't know how to feel about this, Moogie. Maybe good? Maybe? Oh, God. The art is absolutely amazing, though. Don't let me take anything away from that. I love the art. It's just fucking hell. This one's from Len Zynan, and uh, it's me playing ice cream games, training myself for a brighter future as a Cold Stone employee. I, uh, and, and this is the last one, I think. Yeah, it is the last one. From Amber Rosen, here is the Vine Sauce logo as Blur the Magic Whip album cover. Now, this isn't the first time that this has happened. This is a very cool version of this. I've seen a few where... Um, I love that album cover, by the way. But I've seen a few that were kind of like this, but this one is its own unique take, and I love that album. That was my album of, I think, last year, I'd say. That was my favorite album, even above Currents from Tame Impala, I would say... Magic Whip was my favorite album of 2015. Just slightly above Currents. This year, so far, it's a moon-shaped pearl, uh, pool. Pearl. <laughs> and actually, now there is one more. From Alina D. Fucking Christ, look at that. Another clown photo. For anyone who's wondering why people keep dressing me up as a clown, it's um the fucking blood bagel promotional photos we took we uh we dressed up as clowns mike and i and it was insane actually that's mike that's mike's clown that's not me it, it's good <laughs> it's good but yeah that's that's mike's clown um the art is fantastic i have more clown photos coming i have the actual making of the blood bagel and i can tell you that we've sold um just to kind of close out it's been out for like five days and uh, again I knew it was going to be like kind of a small little EP it wasn't meant to be our next album it was just something we fucked around with for a few months and we had a ton of fun making and uh, the CDs weren't even going to happen but I ended up getting a really ridiculously good uh, deal on them so I was like you know what over time, maybe people will buy these if we just keep them nice and cheap. So yeah, so um, that was the plan. And 
you know, they are on redvoxband.com. And there's a poster of us as clowns as well, if you want it. And if not, like I said in the past, no worries. Um, it's free if you search for it on a bay of pirates. You could just find the uh, torrent as well. Or you can just ignore it entirely, which is always an option. Um, that said, our next album will probably be next year. And it's, it's, it's an exciting one. It's an exciting one. And it's not about bloody assholes. And I don't think we're going to dress up as clowns for that one. So, you know, hopefully Blood Bagel 2, Volcano, will come out in like five years. By that time, we'll really be over the age required to do an album like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's been a hell of a ride. And um, I guess in some ways, this was just something to keep you busy until the next real shit. So, but yeah, speaking of real shit, this week on Vine Sauce, there's going to be uh, Mario Sunshine. There's going to be hopefully me finishing 3 Game Heroes. Uh, maybe me starting Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. That might not happen until next week, though. And um, I, I will attempt a Subnautica stream if I'm feeling it. Like I said, there's almost... Well, there's not a whole lot left to do aside from explore the, uh, the, the beta areas. So maybe we could do that. Um, Cluster Truck is actually out very, very soon. And I have a copy. So we will be cluster trucking also really soon. And tomorrow we'll be doing Battlefield 2 Pirates for a little bit just to celebrate National Pirate Day. Um, we're going to do the best maps. Then we're going to do the World War II mod that I told you guys about. Uh, and you can, again, join in for both Pirates and that. And, and if we have some time, maybe we'll do Battlefield 2 as well. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, I had never played Battlefield 2. Uh, and I, when I learned that it was free, I, it, like through community efforts, I was really, really happy. Um, I do like the Battlefield series. It was never my favorite shooter series, but I've been in a, in a shoot mood lately. And uh, World War 2 has been a topic on my mind. I've, I've been watching Band of Brothers for the first time and uh, been having some pretty fucking intense dreams thanks to that show. I just finished, um, what episode? So I watched, um, Bastone. And then after that was the breaking point. I think I'm on the last patrol right now. So I'm, I'm like getting kind of close to the end of the show. That Bastone episode that focuses on the medic. That episode is fucked. The one after it is almost more fucked. Actually. I think that one is crazier. It's, it's an insane show. It's intense, and it gives me so much appreciation for, you know, the fact that we don't have to deal with shit like that and get drafted into something horrendous. Um, but it, it also is a really, really well-directed, well-written, well-acted show. And um, But it, it will give you nightmares if you let it, because there is some pretty intense shit that happens. And yeah, so I've been in a World War II mood. So of course, what do I do to respect the people that served in World War II? You know, I play a video game where I get to shoot people with virtual weapons in a World War II setting. I'm sure that's the utmost of respect for them. So yeah, we're going to be doing that mod, the World War II mod, which I think is called... I keep forgetting, I have to keep pressing it. Forgotten Hope 2. So we will shoot. And uh, yeah, so that'll be it tomorrow and i guess that's all of my announcements uh thank you guys for everything and, and thank you for also um supporting um you know the music and and letting me give you guys some codes for pat's book it, it was a really i've said this before but it's nice to see people you know in the youtuber department in the streamer department whatever branch out and actually you know take their their time their money their effort and really pour it into a labor of love and also maybe help pay the bills. But in, in Pat's case, seeing a book like this has given me inspiration and given me more drive to do more shit because 
I mean, this is legit. And I've always wanted to write a book in some way or another, but I'm too lazy to write one, so that'll never happen. But seeing Pat do what he did with this thing just totally I don't know. It just it was an, it was inspiring to me. I don't know. I really don't know how to explain it. Crazy. Crazy that people can make videos on YouTube, you know, get some shit going and then eventually like find ways to turn that into following their passion. It's it's just it's 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 inspiring. So, anyway, uh thank you guys again for everything. I'm going to stop talking now cuz I I don't know what I'm saying and I am semi delirious and I'm looking at a photo of, of, of a clown. Well, a drawing of a clown. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Have a good night. And if you want more streamers from the vine sauce team, twitch.tv slash team slash vine sauce, please follow them. Please check them out at the moment. They're not live, but I'll probably host one of my mods. So, uh, take care everyone. 4 30 AM. Fuck off. <laughs> Go to bed. Stop watching this shit. Good night.